Welcome to video number 20 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. The primary reasons for tourism planning is that tourism develops and grows on its own and it generates major impacts, both positive and negative. Planning involves understanding the current situation, determining where a destination wants to go from there, and then picking the best courses of action to accomplish that goal. Tourism is a complex, multifaceted industry that is proliferating worldwide, and it impacts every person within a destination, as well as its natural and cultural resources. Tourism that is well planned with the best interest of all the destination stakeholders will generate more positive and sustainable economic, socio-cultural, and environmental impacts than tourism that is left to its own devices. As the old adage goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. There are barriers to tourism that result in a lack of planning or haphazard planning at best. If tourism is just starting within a community, then there is often a lack of available funding or expertise. If tourism is already established, then stakeholders may question the need for a plan as they prefer to spend their money and efforts on promoting more of the same. Sometimes there are just too many stakeholders with conflicting interests, so planning becomes a difficult task. And many tourism enterprises are small businesses preoccupied with their daily operations. Some businesses focus only on their specific segment of the industry and forget the bigger picture, or they get a large share of their business from locals and don't fully realize their dependence on a strong tourism industry, or they are only seasonal businesses. For whatever reason, tourism planning is not always treated as the priority it should be. Planning enables a destination to chart its course into the future based on proper research expert assessment, and stakeholder input. It enables a destination to identify alternative approaches and select the most appropriate ones to proceed with orderly development and optimize the return on its resources. Planning enables a destination to understand, appreciate, and utilize its unique attributes to create a positive destination image and a unique selling proposition. Planning can also create consensus, unity, and a common sense of purpose among the many moving parts within a destination. Since all of tourism stakeholders will be the recipient of its future impacts, they should all be involved in tourism planning. Governments provide the funding, the legal framework, and the overall coordination and liaison. Businesses provide the reality of the marketplace, and their livelihood depends on a successful plan, so their active input is essential. Tourism organizations, hospitality associations, and tourism consultants should all provide their unique perspectives. Due to tourism's many impacts and its use of vital resources, many tourism-related groups, special interest groups, and nonprofit organizations should also have their voices heard. And remembering the golden rule of tourism, video number three, the local people must ensure the alternative courses of action that are discussed and adopted carefully consider their biggest dreams and their worst fears. Tourism planning at all levels comes under the umbrella of the National Tourism Policy and other economic development plans. Tourism planning is most effective when it includes the greatest amount of meaningful participation from all its stakeholders. Often a top-down government approach is used that in effect disenfranchises those who are closest to the action and have the most to gain or lose from the effectiveness of the tourism planning. The top-down approach also undermines community support for the plan as it diminishes their relevance and denies them local ownership. Tourism planning must also incorporate the principles of sustainable tourism for it to have lasting positive impacts. Tourism planning begins with a situation analysis, aka environmental scan, that helps the destination determine where are we now. One of the primary tools used for this purpose is a SWOT analysis, which determines the destination's internal strengths and weaknesses and its external opportunities and threats. Reviews of existing tourism policies, plans and programs, and inventories of the four operational sectors 
institutional elements, and infrastructure are also conducted. Tourism resources are mapped and graded, zones are created, and the destination's comparative advantages are identified. The destination's competition is researched and its markets are analyzed for trends and new approaches that lead to appropriate product market matches and expanded opportunities. Tourism planning evolves from the destination's vision that stated what it wants to become. It utilizes information gained from the situation analysis and subsequent research to create a new expanded vision for the destination. Visioning helps conceptualize a newer, more specific direction for the plan's development and implementation. Government officials and consultants often lead this step, with all stakeholders encouraged to provide their ideas and opinions. Synthesis weaves all this input into a unified, workable plan based on position statements that contribute to a broader vision statement designed to move the plan forward. This part of the planning process references and expands the goals, strategies, and objectives that were discussed while formulating tourism policy in video number 19. The duration of tourism plans ranges from as few as 1, 3, or 5 years to 10 or 20 years, depending on the size of the area covered and its purpose. Goals are long-term, normally covering a duration of shorter plans, and are the major components of all tourism plans. Strategies explain how each of the goals will be achieved while objectives originate from the strategy but have a shorter time horizon and are more easily measured than the goals they are collectively meant to achieve. This stage makes the tourism plan actionable for sustainable development. A written tourism plan is a technical report that describes everything necessary to achieve the plan's goals, implement its strategies, and accomplish its objectives. It often includes major sections on the development of tourism products and facilities, new and existing source markets, branding, promotions, distribution channels, institutional elements, community awareness, and education and training needs with timelines and funding requirements ascribed to each of them. Many tourism plans also require detailed assessments for environmental and sociocultural impacts. Tourism plans are normally written by a government tourism official or a tourism consultant. Unfortunately, even well-written and research plans are notorious for never being implemented due to lack of funding, changes in government leadership or political will, and confusion among people and agencies over who is responsible for what. Monitoring of a tourism plan's goals and objectives is performed by the government coordinating agency in charge during the implementation stage. As internal or external forces, ranging from competition to technology, affect progress, the plan and its components are modified or tweaked accordingly. So if something is not working, a correction can be made. Evaluation, on the other hand, comes after the implementation stage has been completed. The success of each goal and objective is measured and graded, such as an increase in visitor expenditures or the emergence of a new source market. Stakeholders are surveyed and meetings are held to disseminate and discuss the findings. Lessons learned and incomplete goals with ongoing merit can be worked into the next plan, which normally starts immediately upon completion of the previous one. Effective planning is a precursor to successful destination development and marketing. It will help to maximize tourism's benefits and to minimize its negative impacts. Planning enables stakeholders to examine their destination, discover its potential, and foster its economic development. Although the steps and procedures involved in the planning process differ from destination to destination, its main purpose remains the same, to provide a blueprint for organized tourism development that follows the most appropriate course of action for success. Now I invite you to watch video number 21, Tourism Development. Thank you.